It's Hacker Summer Camp. It's hijinks. It may be even some tomfoolery, but most importantly, it's the Patch Report. Hello, everyone. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative and your Chief Patch Wrangler. We've got a lot to talk about this month, so let's just go ahead and get straight to the blog and really start going through what we need to talk about. And we start with a relatively small but pretty impactful Adobe release. we got four, uh, four bulletins here, four updates. Most important watch is Reader. 30 CVEs in here. Obviously, Reader's the most used program. Beyond that, there is an update for Commerce, so if you're using Commerce, obviously pay attention to there. Moving on to Microsoft, the count is really wild this month. Uh, so we've got a total of 74 new patches, but we also have a couple of advisories and some important revisions to talk about. Uh, so then we add on like an AMD patch and then some you know Chromium patches from actually yesterday and it brings a whole total of I think 86. It's hard to count these days. Uh, I have to take off my socks and I still can't get there. So let's start with this Office Defense and Depth Advisory. And this was really confusing to me uh, when it was released. So it may be confusing to you as well. The advisory is a fix for the bug that was talked about last month, but there was no fix for it. So there was a Windows Office bug that was being actively exploited, but they didn't have a fix. The advisory uh, will actively, will kill, will prevent, it prevents the, kill, the exploit chain from working. That's what it does. They don't say how it does this, but they say it prevents the exploit chain from working. Not a real fan of that. Uh, after I read that, I thought they weren't updating the, the bulletin at all. They did update that CVE though, to actually provide patches. So I my recommendation to you is focus on the patch, uh, use the advisory only in emergencies. For some reason, if you can't patch, yeah, do that. Otherwise, just test and deploy that patch. Moving on, hey, look, Exchange Server. Alrighty, everybody's favorite thing to patch in the world. This is a bypass of a CVE, which was a bypass of a CVE, which was a bypass of a CVE, which was a bypass of a CVE under active attack. Yeah. So, uh, main thing is there's a large exchange update this month. Test and deploy it quickly. Uh, and let your Microsoft rep know that they should do variant testing before they ship bulletins. Uh, we've got a couple message queuing remote code execution bugs again this month. Uh, this is becoming a very popular target. A lot of message queuing bugs being patched this month. These three are all CVSS 9.8. Um, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing active exploits using these because they are so powerful uh, and they are so, I mean, it's, it's potentially wormable between things with the message queuing service enabled. How many is that? I don't know. My guess is it's a significant number. Uh, there's a couple Teams updates that are also very critical. And in these cases, all you need to do is join a Teams meeting to have code execution occur on your system. This is the type of thing we see at own to own all the time. So definitely take a look at that. And there's another Exchange bug that I wanted to talk about. I know I already talked about Exchange. This one's wild though. Uh, because it allows an unauthenticated attacker to become authenticated. A lot of the exchange bugs that we're looking at these days, it's like, oh, well, this requires authentication. Well, now you can get past the authentication. And that's why anyone who tells you, oh, well, that bug doesn't matter because it's post auth, you explain to them auth bypasses and then you move on from there. So you look at the full list of everything. There's oh, not a whole lot of critical bugs this month. The only other critical one is actually for Outlook. Uh, and it's not entirely clear to me why it's critical because they say the preview pane isn't an attack vector and normally for Outlook bugs to be critical, preview pane is an attack vector. So they don't specifically call it out. So a little weird. Uh, moving on, we've got the standard elevation privilege bugs. Nothing really exciting here. I do want to point out though, the one for SQL Server. The one for SQL Server uh, requires you like, oh, well, it's like, oh, I just applied the G GDR. Do I still need this? Yes, you do. Uh, so definitely make sure you get that patch. Don't think that you're safe just because you installed it recently. Um, there's only a handful of security feature bypasses. The one that really bugs me is uh, the one in Fast. I, it, uh, it's the smart card one because it allows you to evade FIDO. Like smart cards, hello, this is entirely your thing. We need you to do FIDO. 
so you can bypass two-factor off. Nice. Um, there's some spoofing bugs. A lot of the spoofing bugs look like cross-site scripting. So depending on how you define them, uh, some of the spoofing bugs are actually passing the hash. So that's interesting. So you can spoof somebody else. And then uh, a lot of info disclosure bugs this month. Uh, most of them are just unspecified memory. Thankfully, um, the SharePoint one it says it will disclose sensitive information. Thanks, boss. That's all the, that's all the info I needed. Uh, the AMD bug, that's an external one that falls into this as well. Those, uh, those types of attacks are very interesting to me from uh, an intellectual thing, but I haven't seen any of those types of attacks actually used in the wild. Um, finally, some DOS bugs, nothing there. There is another advisory for defense and death update for the memory integrity system readiness tool. I wasn't familiar with this tool. Apparently you use it on AMD 64 and ARM 64, which are not processors I really touch, but if they're processors you touch, well then you should check that out and make sure you get that defense and depth update. So that wraps up this month's uh, release. Hey, why do we call it Hacker Summer Camp? Because there's Black Hat, there's DEF CON, there's Ring Zero, there's B-Sides, there's Diana Initiative. There is a bunch of stuff going on in Las Vegas this week. Uh, and if you're here, swing by the booth at Black Hat and say hello. I like it when people say hello. I will be there. And if you're not here, I will see you next month on September 12th, which is our next Hash Tuesday, where we will be back with the latest in-person updates. So for the Patch Report, I'm Dustin Childs. Thanks for watching.